يعني Okay, so about here is where we left off in the last video. I hadn't built the trussle and the stones weren't down back there, but as you can see, I've been busy. I have built the trussle. I've got the first switch almost all the way in. I still have to put the throw rod uh, and the spring and some rail guards there. I did get the rest of the track up from my parents' house. There's probably about 80 feet left there. It's really buried. I have to wait for the off season. Uh, here's that trussle I had built. It's on cinder blocks, two by eights, I believe, underneath. And I needed to do the double wide because um, it's going to be a shed going in right there on the right side, um, 16 by 24, I believe. Um, and there's a lot of fill needed right here, as you can see. So I've been digging, um, a river stream, um, carving it out to like a nice shape and cause it gets really flooded down here. And as you can see, there's still some water there. So I'm trying to fill everything inside that wood up to bring it up to grade. 
uh, with some of the dirt from cutting the stream. I haven't decided if I'm going to do um, stones or maybe rounded logs for that siding. I'm just tempor temporarily using uh, 2x12s that I had left over from when I ripped that old garden out. So right there was the second switch, which will have a turn to the right there, uh, which will be the, the loop for the main line. Um, I've just been squaring this up and leveling things out. As you can see here, yep, I got it level. <laughs> but I've been tinkering around trying to make it look nice. Um, I don't want it to be that wood, obviously. I'm going to change that, but it's a good starter for packing the dirt in. I probably will do some sort of a, a decorative retaining wall, whether it's out of smaller cuts of wood with front timbers or some sort of stone. Stone's really expensive right now, so maybe not. As you can see, I got a large chunk of land here. It's about 1.6 acres, uh, 300 foot by 300 foot piece of land. It's all forest, so that's going to be fun. Um, what you're seeing now is about, I want to say, 180 feet of track, maybe, maybe 160, um, down. There's you ready chicken. for a ride, buddy? There's my buddy Daniel there. He's ahead of the chicken. There's a chicken. It's one of I six. The other, the other five are inside the coop chilling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a lot of work. And here's that caboose that I had drafted up. This is a cardboard sample of the caboose. Uh, basically, what I'm doing is I'm taking a piece of cardboard and throwing it on the milling machine, and then I'm programming the mill to cut the dimensions and the windows and the whole shape. And I'm saving that program so when I get the piece of the sheet of aluminum, all I have to do is hit start and it will cut the pieces that I need that will all be bolted together. Um, and it's aluminum, so it's flexible. And then here is the stock car, like a live stock car. I'm going to color it white with red for KFC. <laughs> and, and we'll pull the chickens around in this. But here's a cardboard functioning model that I just finished. And all those cuts that you see there for the ventilation, that took an astronomical amount of time to cut on a, on a bridge board. It took about eight hours to cut both sides, um, cutting at 7.5 inches a, a minute in each one of those little slots. And I get a two and a half foot cut on, uh, on, on that, so. I have to do half and half. But yeah, it's a work in process. But that's that's where we're at so far.